before the video begins, I'm gonna come on here and say, if you get easily offended, maybe don't watch this video, or um, if you do watch it, I warned you. Okay, I'm just trying to be a nice person. Also, I don't know how to speak English a lot of the times, so I'm sorry about that, but um, here's the video. Okay, bye. Hi guys, it's me, Bella, and I'm back with a new video. So, I'm gonna keep it the same theme as I did last week, a like rant type video, because I honestly love filming these videos. Because if you couldn't tell from last week's video, I get annoyed very easily. And my temper, you know, that just isn't doing well. So for this week's video, I'm gonna do something we like to call biggest pet peeves this is like all over youtube people love to do this it's just like fun and lighthearted. so i don't mean to offend anyone if you do these things because let's not be hypocritical here i probably have done these things and then look back and say wow that's really annoying so these are just my like top 10 pet peeves and they're on my phone so i'm gonna be looking at my phone sometimes let's get started I love when I throw my phone. Ow. H E L P is what I need. Pet peeve number one. This one really like is kind of generic. You either are like to be on time or you don't like to be on time. And I like to be on time most of the time. Wow. I love saying time a ton. This has a line in a way like for school I hate not being on time whenever my mom would drive me to school oh Julia Chacos you know you know what that would turn into but like for if I'm gonna hang out with somebody not one person but like if it's like a little party or whatever you want to call it if I'm late I'm not gonna like pull my hair out you understand me okay yeah doesn't really matter the next pet peeve this one is like you have to have experience. That sounded weird, but it's when you tell someone your problem and then they are like, start talking about their own problem and make it only about them and s refute your problem like completely. So if I'm like, oh, Josie, my neck hurts so bad today, because I'm a complainer, you know, I like to say that, and I just, I'm having such a bad day. And then Josie's like, well, you know what? I broke my neck in the third grade, so why don't you just be respectful of that? Like, that kind of thing. Like, can you just let me complain? Okay, I know I'm a complainer. Just let me complain. Wow, we're really getting heated in here, ladies. Ugh, it's so hot. So the next one, when people don't have their priorities straight. Okay, listen, I'm not Mr. Uh, I'm Mrs know-it-all but I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't want to be offensive to anybody if you know you know hmm this is number four I think four this one gets me angry in school because when someone doesn't put forth effort and they can cheat their way through life and get good grades oh my gosh like oh my gosh if you go to my school or my friend you know who I'm talking about and in general this just happens in general too but like oh my gosh I cannot stand this I'm sorry if you do this and you cheat like I'm not gonna say I've never cheated in my life. Like we all like, huh, spelling tests in fifth grade. What's the word? How do you spell it? Like that kind of thing. But when you're like in an AP class and you're cheating all the time, I mean, maybe people were saying, you use your resources. I don't really care. It just freaking annoys me. Oh, wow. Number five. When someone says they're gonna do something, but they don't end up doing it. For instance, if my mom says, we're gonna go to Disney World next year, and then it comes like five months before, and I'm like, oh, like, so we, do we book our Disney trip? And she's like, ah, we're not gonna go anymore. 
oh my gosh. Don't get my hopes up. Don't put me up here and then take me down to here because then it just, just no, sets me off. Offset, ladies and gentlemen, offset. It just angers me. <laughs> I lost count. I don't really know which one we're at. Um, oh, this one's also like a school-related one. Gosh, just like, this is like a back-to-school video. Uh -huh. Back-to-school pet peeves. Anyway, I don't like when people don't know how to walk in the hallways. You all know what I'm talking about. Like, whenever you're, like, trying to get to your class and people are just like, oh, I love you, like, kissing their boyfriend in the hallway. Move on. Go and get a hotel room. I don't know. Like, go on your own time. Don't block me from where I'm supposed to get to because it really angers me. Now I'm gonna say and sit, oh wow. I'm gonna sit here and say, I have definitely like stopped in the middle of the hallway, but not as much as like certain people. They'll just be like, let me just like demonstrate. You know, like, you're just like, oh, I love hitting the chair. You're just like, they're just literally dead standing here, talking to their friend like five people deep, like they're all standing around in a circle, and you're just trying to get past, and they're just not letting you. This happens in the morning last year. Anybody that went to my school again, if you know what I'm talking about when you've like walked up from the gym stairs and there's those people that are always sit in front of the certain classroom. Oh, move. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Just get up against the locker or something. I don't know. Just don't stand in the middle of the hallway so I can't walk by. Wow. Hmm. I need to take a deep breath, ladies. Jeez, I'm really just having too much fun with this. So I'm sorry if you're getting also heated. I hope you are getting it. I hope you guys agree with this. The next one. This is more of like a girl problem. But whenever a boy goes to the bathroom, like in a normal bathroom with like a toilet seat and all that stuff, and they lay the toilet seat up, and then you go to the bathroom, and you're like, oh, good thing that I saw the toilet seat was up because otherwise I would have fallen in the toilet like I need life alert for that ish I'm gonna fall in there I'm gonna get lost I'm gonna go down to the deep blue sea oh like do you want me to fall in the toilet because I think you do and it's just offensive that's another thing that I really hate that just came up on my screen this is an, an, a bonus number 11 whenever it says your iCloud storage is full Okay, cool, you give me five gigabytes of iCloud storage because I'm not gonna pay another month, dollar a month because I don't feel like it. Don't keep warning me. I see every day more than 10 times. Stop telling me it's full. I know it's full. I have Google Photos for a reason. Bye. Let's on, on to the new one. On to? On to. On the next one. Oh, this one, like, this, if you have any experience with this, you know, you know how it feels. When someone doesn't have a sense of humor or like can't take a joke, oh my gosh. I get there's a degree of passing a line with a joke, like yeah, it can get, it can go too far, I get that. But if like you can't sit there and think it's funny that I'm like running on the cafeteria because I'm 12 years old, then I don't know you. If you're like too serious in life, okay, that sounds offensive because people are like that. But I don't know, I just like to live through life like being funny and like, okay, I'm, that's not. It's just becoming a disaster. We're almost done, ladies. If you stayed till here, I'd give you a handshake. Um, this is the last one, and this one, this one. If you do something that's like out of the box, for instance, wearing, I don't know, like space buns when it wasn't popular and then now it like became popular like last year and people all started doing it, but they judged you to begin with, really grinds my gears. Let people live their life. Why does it matter what that person's doing or wearing? Like, and then when it becomes popular and trendy, you want to do it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how this world works. Actually, it does because that's, this wouldn't be a pet peeve. That's not how it worked.
But that just really just gets to me. You know, just hits, hits home a little bit. My, my shirt says cool vibes, so what am I saying? Like, this is literally a FIFA 21 shirt that, like, we don't really know what happened. Okay, well, those were all of my pet peeves. This video is 10 minutes long because I just ranted in it. So, if you enjoyed watching me get heated or also experience these pet peeves, then give this video a nice thumbs up and like subscribe to me for more content like this because I'm going to be doing like a good back to school haul. Mmm. Yeah. It's actually not that good, but I'm still going to do it. So, um, I guess I'll TTYL. Beep, beep, be my BFF, because I DK what's coming next. Let me LMH up with the rest. So, TTYLXOX. Okay. Um, peace with Mother East. Toodaloo.